Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Hope we've all had a fabulous weekend. Um, I I know I did. So, <laughs> uh, but we wanted to come at you with a really, really good training today, really practical training, especially because it's September. It's about to be October. Most places in the U.S. are starting to get pretty cold um, or at least, you know, fall. Entering there, winter. For sure. Exactly. And so we wanted to talk about, I don't think we've ever talked about this before, um, but we'll talk about staying active and staying motivated during the cold weather, the cold season. I used to live in New York um, and the cold slash winter season would last for like eight months, which is a pretty long time. (laughs) I'm sure a lot of you listening to this can relate to that as well. I cannot because I've lived in the South my whole life. So that's why I've told Serena that she has way more experience with this to take the lead on this on this one here (laughs) yeah um yeah so I was in New York for I don't know 22 years of my life so pretty good amount of time I would say um and you know if you live New York Chicago Maine Vermont Connecticut the Midwest like anywhere in North Virginia exactly like it gets pretty cold and it gets to be usually a lot of snow I feel like in recent years there hasn't been as much snow Mm -hmm. as there used to be when I was a kid um but that doesn't mean that it's not cold Mm -hmm. right um and so I wanted to just kind of give you guys some tips on how to continue on your health and fitness journey when it's cold out obviously food um is not that much of a struggle when it's cold because you're in the house more and so hopefully you have a little bit more time to sit down plan things out, make meal prep, make recipes. I have a bunch of like high protein soups if you're interested. So I was going to say like cozy food, like chilies, crock pot soups, things like that, that are always like super yummy in the cold time. Yeah. And they're easy. If you put it in the mm-hmm. crock pot, like, all right, cool. I don't that's have to it. do it. <laughs> Turn it on. That's it. Those are my favorite kind of meals. <laughs> um, So my favorite one, because it's get, it gets darker earlier, obviously mm-hmm. it gets darker like 4.30 p.m. Nobody wants to go outside after 4.30 p.m. Um, If you have your gym schedule kind of laid out for you to go after work and maybe in the summertime, you pop home after work, you change, and then you head to the gym or vice versa, like, do not go home Mm -hmm. after work. Um, Please just go straight to the gym because if you're going home at 4.30 p.m. and it is dark outside, you get home at 5 o'clock, you're not going to come back out. (laughs) I know I would. No. Put it. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm already like, home I don't want to leave again and if that's the case okay fine you know just make sure you set aside some time at your house to do a workout right um the other biggest tip I would have going along with that first tip is to bring a change of clothes to the gym right so I would never go to the gym in the things that I was working out in just because I would get really sweaty during my workout and then afterwards I would come outside I was like oh my gosh freezing cold even if I have my big my big parka on I would still just feel really sticky and gross um so I would always bring a change of clothes and then I'll put my outside clothes back on before um going back outside which I know can be kind of a pain in the butt but you got to do what you got to do sometimes and we have goals we have to stick to them it's not I mean give yourself a little bit of grace but again there's a fine line between the grace and the making it uses I guess yeah yeah um one that I mentioned when we were chatting before was like finding a place as a sauna um Mm -hmm. that you could easily either like start your session in just to warm your body up and get more like loosey goose and ready to move um or just like change up the style workout that you're doing so personally like I have a membership at hot works right now which is like sauna style workouts I love going to do my heated cardio in there and I was talking to a lady when I was there the other day and I guess she's been going for a couple of years now and she was saying that her favorite time of the year to do hot works is the winter time because you look forward to that heat and so it's like a different motivating factor to get to the gym so maybe if you do find that you really do get in a huge huge slump during that time of the year which I know personally I do I don't like the dark I don't like the cold it makes me very like down in the dumps finding something that you can look forward to rather than just like dragging yourself to might be super beneficial if you have one in the area. I know they're getting like way more popular and they're actually really affordable on a month to month basis. 
Um, and you can like pause them after, I think it's like after three months, you can pause them for like however long there's no fees and things like that. It's actually really great if you just want to do it like during the winter months. Um, but finding something different that's going to motivate you in a different way than you have in the summertime, I think is a big one too, to just um, add that extra like factor of like getting there. Even if you want to get there and you, it's kind of like that, um, the 10 minute rule that we always say, like when you spend 10 minutes at the gym, 10 minutes at the gym, if you don't want to be there anymore, you can leave kind of the same thing with like this one. If you do find like a sauna session somewhere, like if you find somewhere that has it, go sit 10 minutes in the sauna. If you finish that sauna session and you still don't want to go do anything else, fine, go home. Right. But utilize that extra tool to help get you motivated to move your body a little more. Yeah. I love that. And while you were talking, I thought of, um, also if you don't have a sauna or you can't find one or anything like that, just hop on the bike, hop on the stairs, hop on the treadmill for like five to 10 minutes before to warm yourself up too. I mean, it, it's a little bit different, um, but it's still warming you up in the same way. So then you'll feel good for the workout. But I really do like what you said about switching up the style of workouts too, just to kind of get it different. Because remember, summer bodies are made in the winter. So yeah, yeah. we have, like to, you guys. <laughs> have to put it in the consistency during the winter time. We can't just hibernate like a bear. For sure. And as you were talking about the cardio, I guess we both just need to keep talking because we think of ideas. Um, but when you were talking about like doing the cardio for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is, even if that's all you want to do, winter is like cozy vibes. We typically like we'll pick up like a, a Netflix show that we love watching during the winter, whether it be Gilmore Girls or like the Harry Potter series, whatever it is. Um, but pull that up and that can be like your cardio show. Have like, like this is a good tip for like really any time of the year, but specifically during the winter, but, like have a cardio show that you only allow yourself to watch while you're either walking on the treadmill or riding the bike or something. And you're way more likely to want to do it because you want to watch your show and you're kind of killing two birds in one stone. You're enjoying it while also getting your movement in. Yeah, I really like that. I love a cardio show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like an audio book or something. If you like, if you're someone who can't like watch something and move at the same time, like an audio book or a specific podcast that you really like, something that's kind of like thought provoking to where you're sucked into it and kind of disassociating from the actual like cardio aspect of it. Yeah, because if you think about it now, like your outdoor walks are shortly going to be replaced. Right now indoor walks so definitely recommend finding something to fill the time because normally you know you're looking around at all the stuff around you but now you're just staring at the there treadmill you know. the yeah. window whatever so exactly. gotta just occupy that time um yeah I think those are like my biggest tips that I have those are great. I mean personally I wouldn't have thought of like the change of clothes because like your sweaty clothes gets really cold as soon as you exit so like that's great um definitely don't go home first you guys you can guys start implementing that now I mean it's way easier in the summer to do that to like go home change and go just because it is daylight until like almost nine o'clock sometimes um but when it gets dark don't play around with it because you, you don't <laughs> you can lie to yourself all you want but when you get home you're gonna want to stay home and get cozy get in your pjs eat dinner get in bed early um yeah, I love those tips. If you guys have any other ones that are, if you guys are from like somewhere that's like really, really cold and you're like, oh no, I got some good ones. Let us know, put them in the comments because um, other people probably could utilize them as well. But hopefully this helps as we do kind of transition into the colder season. Um, Cause we do understand like we're humans too. It, health and fitness is harder during the cold season and when holidays hit and things like that. So one, it's important to have a plan in place, but also it's important to ask for help. So know that we're always here um, to help you make those next steps. And then of course, I always have to throw it in there. Like if you need, and you feel like it's a, if it's a um, something that's going to help you get a coach, whether it be us or someone else, like get a coach to help walk you through this season. Cause like Serena said, summer bodies are built in the winter and that time is coming very, very soon. We have to be prepared. I would say, kind of just thought of like one last one um, that kind of ties into the not going home after work and all that stuff. Um, but the night before, like setting out your clothes, like oh, your yeah. gym and stuff, that way all your stuff is packed in the morning. If you've got kids running around, you don't have to worry about putting everything together to go after work. You can just pack it, take it and go in the morning. That's big. And that's just like, that's just taking away an extra boundary or challenge barrier thing. That's going to be there in the morning. Yeah, that's big. Cool. All right, you guys. Well, like I said, if you have any other tips, please let us know. Cause I'm sure there's way more out there. Um, or if you have any questions about these, always let us know. 
Other than that, we hope you guys have a great week and we'll chat with you on Friday. Bye guys.